Hello, <laughs> hello, hello, Waterstones. Hello, Waterstones. Hello, Waterstones people. Uh, uh, happy Christmas, mm-hmm. uh, unless it's still October, in which case, happy Halloween, mm. and then happy Christmas. Um, we'd like to talk to you a little bit about the book that we've managed to uh, collate and and uh, and and edit. Um, book called Last Christmas. We've been very fortunate to have got together about fifty different folk to write their memories of Christmases past and their hopes for future ones. And this isn't just your normal, here we are, let's get our friends in, let's get posh actors and comedians and writers and whoever else. This is a very wide ranging book of an incredible disparate collection of people from uh, people in, in, a, in a camp in South Sudan to uh, uh, aid workers in Myanmar to uh, people who have suffered homelessness, to war correspondents, to heart surgeons, uh, heart surgeons a vicar, um, beautician. a beautician, um, uh, and then mates of ours as well who are happen to be actors, comedians, writers. I'm somewhat inspired by our son, who, whose story is also in the book, because um, he was a refugee, and um, I met him at a party, a Christmas party. We used to give a Christmas party at the Refugee Council every year. And a lot of money's been taken away. A lot of cuts have meant that um, one of the things we want this book to do is support the crisis at the homeless um, charity and um, the Refugee Council because they're extraordinarily wonderful um, organisations and they they needed help. But meeting our son, Tindy, at this party was so um, particular and poignant because, of course, the Christmas story is... The story of refugees. It's a family who can't find anywhere to stay um, and who are finally find shelter in a very humble place. And so I think we, I certainly find that the whole shebang about Christmas, all the razzmatazz about Christmas and buying and this, this kind of psychosis of it, I find that very depressing actually. Um, so I, I really wanted to f- make something that brings us back to what it really is about. Um, and, and what's glorious is that anyone from any part of the world, we all just want the same thing. Mm. We want hope, we want care, we want love. And we want it all year round. And we That's want it thing. all year round, not just that one day. But on that one day, <laughs> during the Christmas, the festive season, mm. what will you be reading? Well, um, my learned friend, I immediately turn to one particular author at Christmas and it is the exceptionally scholarly cleric um, M.R. James uh, who wrote the best ghost stories ever written ever written I love ghost stories and I start reading them around November and then in December I'm allowed to move on to my favourites. Um, M.R. James just was an incredible writer. He just wrote these things. It'd be a bit like Chekhov, really. I mean, who was a doctor writing plays for his mates, in a way. Um, M.R. James just wrote these stories, which are remarkable. That's who I pick up immediately. And you know that I'll be perfectly happy in front of the fire with my collected stories of M.R. James and a glass of something cheering. But more violently than that, she will force some of us to read them aloud mm. to the assembled mass in mm. front of a fire with the lights turned down low, mm. uh, which is always a lot of fun. But you don't read much at Christmas, do you? I don't. I don't. I, unfortunately, I don't read a great deal. I'm not a huge reader. Um, I have really just enjoyed reading the Mick Heron uh, Jackson Lamb series and, of stories. Um, Overstory. Overstory, Richard, Richard Powers, got to read it. That Please, all must. of you, read The Overstory by Richard Powers. And everyone needs to read David Wallace Wells' The Uninhabitable Earth and Naomi Klein's On Fire. That's really, they're like... And uh, uh, Geoffrey Willans and Ronald Searle, Down With School. Essential reading, really. Um, <laughs> He's so angry. Well, those are all the books that we love. <laughs> we hope you love books too. Uh, we wish you all a happy Christmas. Um, remember that all the prophets from last Christmas will go, will be split between Crisis, the homeless charity, and the Refugee Council. Um, I think we have to say it's 25p, which doesn't sound a lot, but the uh, margins are very low in publishing, I've been told. We're not making a penny from it. You wouldn't know, though, would you? Because you work in publishing. That was irony. No. You can cut it out. Yeah, I think we need to cut that out. Okay. Happy Christmas.